We are launching a weekly series that is near and dear to my heart. We are excited to introduce our Pet of the Week segment. Not only is this a chance to feature irresistibly adorable animals, but it's also an opportunity to champion the important causes of adoption, fostering, and supporting our local animal shelters and rescues to ultimately better manage the pet population, lower our euthanasia rate, and find forever homes for our furry friends. Now let's get to the cuteness. Uh, not only is Nina Wingfield cute, but no, Nina is the president <laughs> and Outreach Director of SPCA Memphis, joining us with Teresa Forbes, the Vice President of Blue Sky Dog Rescue, and we have a special handler for our tiny friend here. <laughs> Thank you for coming, and you know, you are going to be bringing every week different animal rescues and, and introducing us to animals that need homes. You know, it's so important to highlight these animal rescue groups that open their homes, open their pocketbooks, mm -hmm. and take care of the unwanted animals that are not able to get into the shelters. And who you have right now is fancy, and I'm telling you, the sweetest. If, if I wasn't, you know, told not to bring a dog home today, <laughs> Fancy would definitely be the one. She's 11 months old. She is shepherd, lab, I see maybe a little Rottweiler in her, mm -hmm. but she plays very yes. well in play groups. And we're actually going to have her and Layla. Layla is so cute. Look at that little look. Oh my goodness. La and Layla has a sister named Marie. It's and like Fancy has a sister named Sassy. <laughs> You'll be seeing some other pictures. But we will have them at Carriage Crossing on Saturday, mm -hmm. 12 to 2, at the SPCA's Adoption Center. Well, let's learn about Blue Sky. So what area do you cover, and what are your needs right now? I mean, what's going on? Well, um, as with all rescues, we always need any kind of donations. Mm -hmm. But we get most of our dogs from around North Mississippi. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where we're based. We will get dogs from other areas also. But um, yeah, we just kind of get them from any place. People will call and say, hey, do you have space? We found a dog, dog wandered up to our house, whatever. And so that's how we get our dogs. And talk to me, there are more dogs. You know, we couldn't bring them all in, right? We have pictures. Yes. Yes, and Fancy's litter was found in, in a, a box, in oh, a box. behind a dumpster at oh. a gas station. Okay, yeah. There at were seven of them. Five and a half weeks mm -hmm. old. So that's a lot of care and commitment. There's little Marie. <laughs> yes. Layla's sister. How sweet. Now, they're six months old. Okay. And they were dumped mm -hmm. in a ditch. And Libby's son happened to see it. And he picked them up and took them home. And they've been kind enough to foster. Now, I, I just saw a picture of a black dog, and then there was another dog who... That's fa that was Sassy. That's Fancy's oh, sister. Oh, Fancy. Mm -hmm. That's your little sister. Yes. And Gumbo. And Gumbo. Gumbo with the <laughs> yes. tan and Gumbo white. Gumbo with the tan and white one. Uh -huh. And he is up for adoption also. Uh, Let me tell you how wonderful it is about Blue Sky is, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of shelter dogs don't have that one-on-one -on -one interaction in a foster home mm -hmm. or a fa with the family. And what's nice about the rescue groups is they bring these dogs into their homes so you know if they're good with mm -hmm. children, mm -hmm. if they're good with cats, if they're good with other dogs. And they, they put them in play groups and they, they play, they take care of all their medical needs, which is very, very expensive. Very expensive, yeah, you think of humans. Okay, so what happens uh, when people either want to um, just somehow get engaged? It could be, um, um, uh, bringing a dog in, fostering, or actually adopting, or donating, how do they reach everybody? They just can contact us. We're on um, Facebook. They mm -hmm. can go through Facebook. We also have a website, um, and they can just go through that. Okay. Well, good luck, little Fancy and Layla. <laughs> I love you so much. And I'll oh, go home with you, well, Fancy. <laughs> you don't understand. I am. I, I was mourning the loss of my dog, and so now I'm, I'm finally ready. I'm emotionally ready. So we're gonna. We'll find you one. We'll find I you one. I know you will. I know it. All right.